Hi, good morning everyone. I'm Prasoon Agrawal from EQ International Magazine and today I'm here with Mr. Peter Wolf who is the Director Overseas of Maxwell Technologies. Hi Peter. Hey, good morning. Good morning. So, first of all, I would like to begin with a brief introduction about Maxwell Technologies and uh, what product offerings does it have for the Indian solar market? Brief introduction. Um, okay, uh, we're providing uh, the total metallization line, means this is the back end for the solar cell production. From the from the finished blue wave or to the finished solar cell. Yeah, this is our topic. Maxwell Technologies is a is a German company or it's 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 based in China. No, Maxwell is a one hundred percent Chinese company. So founded in two thousand eight. Yeah, developing quite fast. So now we are around three hundred seventy employer and uh, yeah, from this three hundred uh, already fifty around fifty people are involved in R and D. So it's quite good number. Yeah. Yeah, that's that's exactly a good number. And can you throw some light on the on the on the some figure, some the, the number of shipments which you have done to the Indian market presently? Uh, until now, in the Indian market, we supplied on a metallization line uh, around uh, 300 megawatt capacity for metallization line for some small customer. But we're thinking there's also a good chance in, the, in this market to, to grow up our market position there. Yeah. The technology has driven the Indian solar market and the global solar market for quite long. So, what do you think your company stands for? I mean, what are your technological innovations which uh, goes on in your company? Our technology is uh, mainly focused on mass production tools. This means our tools are mainly uh, providing a high reliability, high throughput solution. So this helps the customer to really control their cost and even on a low cost solar cell they can still get some benefit from the solar cell production. And the next thing is also is not only the, the customer, our customer uh, benefit from this, of course also for the global market. Uh, if you can produce a solar cell on a very reasonable price, this will help the solar industry uh, in a very significant to, to improve on the, in the total market. Yeah. Can you throw some light on your association with Burgeon Group of Companies for the Indian market? Uh, we find Bergen Group because uh, Bergen is a very good connected company. They stands for the solar development in, in, in India. So they have quite a very long history in this uh, solar market. So we are very happy to, to work with them. And they have a very good understanding for the technology, for the processes, and also a very good uh, communication between us and also the customer. Yeah. You know, Indian government has set a very ambitious target of achieving 100 gigawatt solar power by 2022. So, how interesting is that to you? And what has been your view of the of the policy environment in the Indian market? Yeah, this uh, is a very ambitious target. Um, how to say? Uh, with the actual, actual with the production capacity here in India, you cannot provide this this uh, amount of solar cell to the Indian market. This is a fact. So, but of course, for us, uh, in any case, it's a good it's a good news because uh, in any case, we are the where the uh, solar cell come from from China, from America, from everywhere. Uh, we are for sure involved in this production because our market share now for the metallization line is around 70 percent so for, for us for sure this is a very good news yeah. you know peter being you being a chinese company i would also like to means have your views on the anti-dumping petition if you're aware of it has recently been pushed in the indian market by some local manufacturers so what's your take on the anti-dumping petition um yeah this is also an interesting uh, story uh, from my point of view, uh, this will help a little bit uh, for short term. For short term, this will help to solidate uh, the production here. It helps the small customer, helps the small companies to, to, to survive or even to solidate a little bit. Uh, but we learn from history, uh, a duty tax on a solar cell is, is normally not not a long-term solution. We learn from, from Europe, we learn from America. They also have this measure and what happens is uh, in America and Europe, the solar cell production is disappear. So, yeah, I think uh, there's not only not only this duty tax, uh, this is only one measure and helps for the, for the short term. I think the government should be 
do something more, some kind of like a like a frame for all this uh, manufacturing, and uh, this I think will help this this manufacturer much more than a duty tax in the moment, but can help for short term. Yeah. All right, Peter. So it's lovely to have your interesting views on the Indian solar market. Thank you so much for your time and this opportunity. Okay, thank you very much.